You're listening to the Nerd to Know Media Network. Join us at nerdtoknowmedia.com. Broadcasting from the Blanchestan Center, this is Phoenix FM. This is 92.5 Phoenix FM, community radio for Dublin 15. Hey everybody, it's JB Jeremy Borash and you are listening to Daryl O'Connor on the... Welcome to the Wrestling Rewind. The only wrestling podcast by fans who don't hate wrestling. All right, everybody, welcome to the Wrestling Rewind here on Phoenix 92.5 FM, the True Penny Channel, Spotify, Nerd Now Media, all that good stuff. Sorry for the technical issues again. It is now, I nearly got one of those counters that they have on Fox News, you know, where it's just like, <laughs> such a <laughs> years weeks behind people left behind or whatever they do where it's like days that that Gary doesn't have a desktop it's now like nine weeks this computer won't stop blue screening i turned it on to try today instantly blue screened i have tried to reinstall the os eight times i am very upset (laughs) very upset but anyway we persevere on again i apologize um with the technical issues because they just they're non-stop I'm trying to get it resolved, but it is what it is. And I'm here with the MacBook, so that's all we can do. My name is Dara Connor. You can follow me on Twitter at Dara WV. But I'm not joined. I'm not on my own. Dave isn't here. Hashtag save Dave. But I am joined by the one and only, the one and all winner. Oh! Hey! <laughs> legitimate winner. He has a better win rate than CM Punk. The one, the only, Mr. Martin Herty. Martin, how are you, sir? Check Magnet Martin, you can call me. That's it. And we're not making it up, guys. He literally battered some lad. <laughs> he, kicked, <laughs> he kicked the crap out of him. In, in, in a sanctioned MMA fight, I, I hasten to add, it, no, wasn't, it, was, like, it, it no, wasn't it wasn't outside wasn't, coppers. <laughs> it, wasn't a, it wasn't outside a chipper. It was literally like, it, it was brilliant. It was great, man. Uh, fair play. Congratulations. It was a very impressive show. Uh, I have utmost respect for anybody who gets in a cage. I wouldn't do it. So fair play. <laughs> yeah, it, was, uh, it was a hell of an experience. It was it was twenty five weeks, six a.m. Monday to Friday every morning, all for two minutes and ten seconds <laughs> in the cage. Uh, it was I, great. I, I remember great. hardly eating from the actual fight. <laughs> well, all I know is you killed your man, and that's the main thing. And you walked away. And not only did you do it, but you also have an MMA record now that's bigger than CM Punk. That's legitimate. It is, yeah. She, yeah. She'd be, now, like, da- she'd be like, Dana, where's my contract? What's going on? Fair, fair play to Punk now. He was in the UFC, and yeah. I was fighting uh, another amateur in a hotel in Belfast. But still, I, I, I think an uh, undefeated streak over Punk is, is, is pretty good. I'm telling you, and, you know, that's it. Undefeated, 1-0. and oh, That's it, man. You know, you yeah. can retire and now. Leaving it at that. <laughs> <laughs> Hanging up my gloves. Undefeated. Oh, well, look. <laughs> Yo, congratulations, dude! Well done. Uh, Thanks very it, much. It was, it was great to see. I'm sad. I'm I'm sad I wasn't there in person, but sure, I'm glad whoever recorded the fight they did a great job. Yeah, well, apparently there there'll be a proper video coming out soon, so Unreal. I'll stick that up as well and s- sending me resting me laurels for for another week. <laughs> you need to get a t-shirt made now, just you know, undefeated. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, I, yeah, I do need a t-shirt because the the rash guard you have to wear in MMA is. Uh, an extremely tight fit, and when you've a a body type of mine, it's it's not the most uh, flattering outfit to, to have on. This is fair. This is it, fair. It, it sinks into every curve. <laughs> Here, um, actually, one thing I didn't notice: uh, were you barefoot or did you have boots? Uh barefoot. All right, right, right. That yeah, makes but sense. But the uh, <laughs> amateur MMA, you have to wear um, shin guards because oh, right. Everyone has to go to work on Monday, so there's no point in killing someone. Um, <laughs> So, yeah, it, it probably, if you're looking from the top down, it probably looks like I'm wearing shoes. That's what it looked like. I thought you were wearing some kind of, like, uh, martial art boots or something like that. But, uh, no, man, it was cool. Like, again, I'm not just saying it because you're 
on the show and you're my mate, but like you literally <laughs> battered your man. Like, it was see, it was unbelievable. It was, I, I think it's him, like. I think it's because uh, in training I always do the the grappling, you know, the takedowns and the ground grappling and the wrestling. Yeah. yeah. Um, and that's what I think that's what he was prepared for because mm. uh, he was kind of leaned forward with his legs back, and I think he yeah. was expecting me to go for a, a takedown. Um, and I just swung a thump at him, and it landed. And I thought, just I'll, I'll keep doing that. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it it's like he leaned right into, like he gave you his like, chin, and he just kept battering him, and that was it. He did. He was like, like I say, my whole thing for the past twenty five weeks has been uh, submissions, mm. and uh, I think he was just trying to keep his legs away from me. But yeah, the clinker was when he he leaned in. I got my elbow behind his head so we couldn't yeah. lift his head back up. Yeah, and I just started. Started harsh and uppercuts into him, and the ref just came in and called it off. It was vicious. It really was, man. Fair play. A very, a very, very impressive performance, I must say. So, I'm again, no, man. Look, it's earned. It, it's an earned. It's no one can ever take that away from you. So, yeah, it wasn't officially sanctioned match. It wasn't, you know, <laughs> two a.m. outside the chipper. Like, and like I say, I am hanging up the gloves, but I will consider coming out of retirement if Punk wants to settle this dispute once and for all. <laughs> I used to think you'd win, to be yeah. fair. Like, <laughs> we know you're listening, Phil. Yeah. Oh, God. Walmart greeter, Phil. Um. Anyway. We've yeah, let's for, get stuck in. We've been away for a couple of weeks. Uh, again, it's not because we wanted to be. It's literally, I don't have a computer that can actually do shows now. Uh, and not because I don't buy one. They just keep breaking. It's really annoying. <laughs> I don't think I'm being trolled it's like, or being punked. Ashton Kutcher shows up and he's like... We messed with your computer, man. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> do you remember when those shows were like everywhere? It was like Jackass, Punk, and then there was Room Trigger, Raider, Trigger and, Happy TV. Uh, and... It was everywhere. It was just like I don't know. I didn't like. I didn't hate those shows, but I also was like, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad they don't exist anymore. In, in, in I mean, they had their they had their place in time. Uh, I see that the uh, Jackass is coming back. Oh, it's oh back. I which which it. we'll which we'll discuss later on. Yes, one of the yes, yes, one yes, of yes. the entrants in the rumble was indeed a a Jack Arsh. Holy hell! Yeah. Uh, look, at, uh, what we are going to cover some news real quick because we yeah. we have been away for a couple of weeks. But I just want to set the tone here. The Royal Rumble was probably one of the worst things I've ever seen. It was it was dreadful. It was. I I know we I I know we can kind of have some uh, hyperbole when we're saying this. No, it was legitimately terrible. I was sitting there going, holy hell, what is this? The Women's Rumble was actually amazing. It was really good. I had a great time. But, but, but we are, well, yeah, well, I mean, we'll, we'll get, get into it. it. We will yeah. get to it. Um, anyway, so, uh, okay, so some news. So the first one you want to talk about. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Is, it's not surprising. It's just, it is what it is. F- firstly, th- this didn't need to happen at all. Walter no. was amazing. Walter yeah. was the last really great thing they had. And they went ahead and needlessly renamed him because WWE needs to own everything. Um, but the fact that they renamed him after a Nazi U-boat commander was just, wow, was just uh, the icing on the cake. <laughs> it was sensational. Look, I don't know what's going on with WWE. <laughs> I say this every week. I don't know what's going on with WWE. Nothing they do makes any sense. And this is like, holy hell, you've taken what should have been your main star, your future, because Walter could have been, like, legitimately their oh main star. Oh, my God. He's uh, so much potential. And uh, he's gone. He's done. He's done. Yeah. He'll, be in a, he'll be in AEW next in about three months, right? I, do you know what? I, I genuinely hope so, because even though the... Uh... The roster is is pretty full at the moment. Um, he is the one guy I would still take from from WWE. Well, they have said that Keith Lee now is pretty much signed with AEW, so he's going to show up soon. They're thinking there's there's a surprise. Well, not a surprise because they announced it, but mm. there's a mystery debut on yeah. Wednesday, and everyone thinks it's pretty much Keith Lee. So here's the thing. Here's the question I want to ask you straight off the bat, right? So look, WWE is <laughs> it's cliche to say, but it's true. It's a zombie of itself. It does. Oh. It, it's just a husk now at this point, and it's a good husk, right? It's limping along. Like, look, the women's rumble was so good because it had women who aren't employed in it. It, it, it literally know? half of them were yeah, were like, legends or legends or whatever. Yeah. And I'm just like, Jesus, how are they? 
how are they going to keep going? You know? And and then the next news came out of Shane McMahon. Shane McMahon was fired. <laughs> was fired! I was like, what you, are you doing? The more and more I watch the show Succession, the more and more I am convinced it is a parody of the McMahons. That, that show is about a despot father spiraling out of control I, I and his children yeah, but, desperately trying to get the business away from him. Dude, I don't think this is Vince, though. No, you think it was I, uh, Nick? Nick Khan. Yeah, yeah possibly, I, yeah. Again, I genuinely, and I'm going to say, say the line there, <laughs> WWE is getting ready to be sold. I guarantee it. Now, Disney, again, one of the people with we said it, and again, on record, I want this on record that, like, I've said this. Um, Disney actually came out and cut a deal in India, I think, to stream yeah. WWE. Yeah. This is and going a, to happen. And of course, the whole <laughs> yeah. the whole network has been moved to uh, Paramount. Peacock. Yeah. Or Peacock, sorry, not Peacock, Paramount. Yeah. Peacock. Yeah. Well, in, in the US, here in Ireland and in, in Europe, it's still very much its own thing. But I can actually see probably Disney Plus, Disney Plus picking it up. It only makes sense. It's just weird, though, because... Not not to get too much into it, because we do have a rumble to get to, but... Oh, yeah, yeah. Where do WWE go from here? <laughs> they have no future. Well, they're, here's, just, they're just there, like... Here's the thing, though. For all the creative problems that we are about to get into, genuinely, yeah. it it has not... Apologies. It has not, I don't think, creatively ever been worse. Um, oh, yeah. But, with that said, they made a billion dollars this year, so they are not changing. Well, look, this is it. They may have made mo- they may have made money and they put- look here's another thing WCW is making money people and we've covered yeah. it on the show WCW is still drawing people still making money money isn't the problem it's more got to do with the point that when when the track runs out when the ride ends and people are like you know what well not even people because you know when the companies go you know what we're kind of done with this or whatever that's when the ride's over and they're like we have to pick up the pieces there aren't any pieces in the current product to pick up who are you yeah. gonna pick up you know charlotte do drop <laughs> yeah well the thing is Death like so the, the royal yeah. rumble is a really good example of it because it's full of you know legends uh, yeah. but they're not building current stars so no. in 10 15 years like who are going to be the legends that they bring into the Royal Rumble? Because they're not they're not building anybody, you know. AEW stars. Roman. Roman is is the only one that they've actually put any weight behind. But they only have Roman. And Brock. Oh, yeah. And that's it. And Brock's like Brock, a part-timer. And Brock legitimately does feel like he still has that aura about him. You know, he really does. Oh, but, yeah. like, <laughs> I don't know. I, I I look. I genuinely do think this is this is a legacy product now. At this point, this is something that exists based on its name, uh, and it, it it's gonna be sold. Mark my words, it's gonna be sold or broken up in some way that you'll see it on Disney Plus eventually. Have to. It makes no other sense. Like, why why would you gut your product like this to such an extent that you can you can't run a Royal Rumble like legitimately? They couldn't run the Royal Rumble without outside talent. No, not uh, at least not the the women's Royal Rumble. Like and it was be- literally, and it could barely run the men's Rumble, yeah. which was the worst thing I've ever seen. It was dreadful. Just the before we get into I've it, ever seen. I just wanted to also uh, mention uh, Mustafa Ali. Obviously, has uh, requested his release. <laughs> Is, he still, <laughs> Is he, he still there? Is he still there? Is he gone? See, at this stage, the only way to guarantee that WWE <laughs> don't release you is to publicly asking. request w- your release. Oh, As man. If I was there and I was worried about my job, I would put out on Twitter that I'm dying to <laughs> leave. But it's a dreadful company. It's the only way to get them to not release you. It's like the opposite of what they normally do where they just hide in catering for ages. You know, it's just like, they, just maybe that's what he's doing. He's like, if I just keep, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. It's, maybe it's he's working. Everybody. Plan. Yeah, it's oh, Chiefs geez. man. Um, and then apart from that, uh, the only other news was, uh, oh man, AW Dynamite. It was it was an okay show this week. It was up and down, but my god, that main event was world class. Five stars, Punk and MJF, old school oh, yeah. wrestling. Oh, it was 
phenomenal. I'm glad he's. I'm glad he's finally. You know, I a punk working with someone like MGF just kind of. It had straight uh, shades of his Chris Jericho feud, you know, with the character work, but the actual in ring stuff was pretty good. Um. So yeah, look, it is what it is. Yeah. Question I have for you though, right? Legitimately. Go on. With AEW, right? By bringing the, all the stars that they have that WDB are kind of cutting off and then also building their own brand. Are, is two shows enough? I mean, I I really like it as it is. I mm. I don't want them to become a, a content machine, you know, but five hours, con- seven hours but a they're week. Be, but they're becoming a content machine because they're running unopposed. Yeah, like, well, it's, it's like WDB have given in, have just given up. It's like, look, it genuinely feels like WWE have just given up at this point. And they're like, we're making money anyway. And in AEW, yeah. we're like, we're going to give everybody else what we want. And I don't know, I, I'm I, I, I'm shocked that Impact haven't properly teamed up with AEW. You know, where they're like, we're part of AEW, but we're running their own show. And we're kind of like a feeder into it. I'm, even though they unofficially are, I'm shocked that they haven't like properly come out to do that yet. I expected that by now. Yeah, I mean, I, th- I think... Rather than being a part of AEW, I think they like this idea of an open world of wrestling. Mm. You know, there's AEW, there's AAA in Mexico, you got, well, whatever happens at Ring of Honor in April, Impact, uh, New Japan. You know, I think they like this idea that there's this whole open world of wrestling that's kind of loosely connected, but not necessarily part of it. You know, I mean, you can't really call it a forbidden door if you're part of the company. Yeah, no, that's I don't know. I think Tony Khan needs to learn what a forbidden door is. Um, but yeah. speaking, but but speaking of Impact, I have a press release here from uh, Simon Rot- uh, Rothstein and Impact Wrestling. Uh, Am- Anthem Impact Wrestling channel and Fight Network are now included in YouTube YouTube's TV Sports Plus package. YouTube TV viewers will enjoy twenty four hour uh, com- combat sport from around the world, which also includes Impact Wrestling. So that's pretty cool. So if you are uh, subscribed to that, you'll be able to pretty much get Impact Wrestling for free. And the same with the Fight Network as well. So that's actually Go pretty is, decent. Is Impact, yeah. um, do you have to pay for it on the Fight Network? Uh, it's part of the Fight Network, I believe. Oh. So uh, the agreement expands to the reach of Fight Network and Impact Wrestling channel even further, making both properties widely available to YouTube TV audience through the Sports Plus package. So basically this breaks down as if you buy the sports plus package for about eleven dollars so it's 10.99 so what that's like nine euros um in addition to fight network and impact wrestling you also get um highlights from football poker mocha sports all that kind of good stuff as well but it actually includes their entire their, their back catalog as well so that's actually really good really yeah good. i would be i would be tempted by that i mean right now i'm i'm really i got two hours on the wednesday one hour on a friday and that's pretty much satiates my uh, thirst for wrestling but um mm. i i would be happy to give impact a go like i say i'm not a long-term or regular watcher of impact i watch the slammiversary you know i watch the big shows well see the thing about that is like that was sent to me there um by impact wrestling and i was like that's actually pretty cool so uh i actually would be look to be honest with you we have the network anyway because we do this show right yeah um, but I feel as, dirty every time I see that nine ninety nine come out of my account. Oh yeah, I ha- I kind of hate it too. I'm like, <laughs> oh, financing these monsters. Well, we're financing it because of what they own, not because of what they produce. Let's be real. Yeah, yeah. Um, but with Im- with this impact uh, offering from YouTube, like that's a, that's nine euros. That's pretty good for like our entire back catalog and really good shows that you get. Like every time that they ha- that they do something, it's unique. You know. Like uh, Macardonna yeah. stuff with the the digital the the digital content champion is actually really really good and impact at the moment as well. But look, let us know. Uh, we're actually this year we're going to reformat the way we do the show. We're going to have a direct phone line as well when we can. We're going to have an email as well. Nice. So guys, let let us know what you think. If you want us to cover impact, we will. Um, you know we have a good relationship with impact. So yeah, um, <laughs> just not with AEW. Uh, <laughs> Ah no, if AEW if AEW want to be cool and reach out, I'd have no problem. Like, like getting uh, you better get, not. My get, God, get, if AEW reach out, I'd 
I'd, I'd pass out. <laughs> we're getting Martin to do it because, like, I just don't want to be like, I hate you, Cody. <laughs> Here's why. <laughs> Cody wants you to hate him. I'm telling <laughs> you. I am convinced that the man is a genius. He knows exactly what he's doing. I, I think this is a... Okay, look. I think there's probably a 30% chance he's just an oblivious tool. But I, honest to God, think he is doing the work of the century. I miss Stardust. <laughs> That is a sentence that no one has said. Stardust was great. It wasn't as good as Dashing. Dashing Cody Rhodes or Damage Cody Rhodes. Oh, they were brilliant. They were brilliant gimmicks. Um, But no, like one of my favorite memories of that was when we went over to, it was Liverpool or Manchester. I can't remember because we used to go to Manchester and Liverpool all the time for the WWE shows. And it was was a Smackdown taping. And he was doing the the Damage Cody, he was doing the Dashing Cody Rhodes thing. And he had the mask on, and there was a chance there started. That's not dashing. Clap, 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 clap. clap. <laughs> it was wonderful. But yeah, no, Stardust. Bring back Stardust. Hashtag. Okay. But also, okay. do not bring back Stardust. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. So that's that's that out of the way. Um, when End I finally. Of the when I finally get my technical stuff sorted, we'll be doing the updates and you guys will be able to contact us and ring in all that good stuff as well. But until then, we make do. <laughs> we make do. You can just tag us on Twitter uh, if you wish. So, on to the Rumble. So, Martin, going into this, I went in completely cold. I didn't watch anything. I was like, I'm just watching this like it's the first time I watched wrestling. And to be fair, it was the first time I watched WDB since... Um, Probably Mania, was it? Mania or Saudi, I don't know. I just I think we I think we reviewed one of the Saudi shows, yeah. I think it was the I think that's the last one I watched. And I was like, I know it's gonna be bad. I didn't expect it to be this incomprehensibly bad. But the sad part about it is it had like flashes where you're like, Oh, that's good. And then you're like, Oh, what the hell? You know. Well, that's the thing. I mean, slightly differently from yourself. Um, so I got into wrestling and I, in fact I still have the VHS. Uh, I got into wrestling because of the 1990 Royal Rumble. Uh, right. My cousin had it on VHS, and every time I used to go over to his house when I was a wee fella, I'd I'd stick it on, and then I, I eventually quietly liberated it from his house and took it to my house. <laughs> and I, I still have it, but I have <laughs> so many. I just have so uh, much nostalgia for the Royal Rumble that even though I know I'm the the resident AEW mark, I mm. went into this like genuinely positive. Yeah. Give it a hell of a go. You yeah. know what? Forget about all the online crap. It's the Royal Rumble. You know, let's let's bloody see something. And it started out looking like it was going to be good. Yeah. And then within 10 minutes, they gave a DQ finish to a world title match. And I was right oh. back to square one. Yeah, no, it's it's so upsetting. Like, I'm the same. I love the Royal Rumble. Like, everyone loves the Royal Rumble. No matter... How old you are, no matter, like, even people, like, what they used to do in the pre-COVID times was, you know, the wool shed in Dublin would have Royal Rumble parties. Yeah. Oh, you know? I've seen the, I was always raging, I, I never got to one of those. I'll be honest with you, that sounds like the worst thing in the world for me, because I just, I hate, <laughs> I just hate it. I'm like, oh my God, no, you guys need to, just need to chill out. Like, <laughs> it's not, <laughs> yeah, I need to chill out. But the buzz does seem fun. And I do, I, do I, me and my friends used to watch the Rumble together and, the, and WrestleMania, like Gary and Corey, uh, former host of this show. We used to, to watch it back in the day, uh, which was a Tuesday. And then, uh, and then it just, you know, obviously COVID happened and it wasn't, a, it wasn't a thing anymore. So I think the Rumble has that appeal where oh, you yeah. can just watch it and like, yeah, you for know, lapsed fans, for non-fans, oh, for anybody, for anybody, yeah. for, like it, it is, it is the perfect gimmick match. You know, mm. it's got a guaranteed pop every ninety mm. seconds, mm. and then when the pops are over, you're pretty much down to the last eight or ten. And it, I mean, it is. The, I think it's the the best gimmick match, and ever. also, has a, and also has a guaranteed winner as well. Unless yeah. you put, unless you do something stupid, which. Wow. <laughs> you know, you do something stupid and it never works out. But... Multiple times. I mean, yeah. Bret Hart, Lex Luger, uh, Bret Rock Hart, and Big Show, <laughs> Rock and Big Show. Although I think that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, uh, John Cena. I think did it accidentally at one stage. Yeah, then they restarted the match. <laughs> so yeah. it 
in theory, it has a guaranteed. It's supposed winner. to have a guaranteed winner, but I mean, like, it's very like what the worst thing about the rumble is. It should just work. Like you really have to try to mess the rumble up, and we will get to what happened. Oh yeah, because it it's the biggest story in wrestling still, even what two or three weeks after. Um, uh, but the show itself, like, because you have the rumble. You don't need to really overcomplicate it. So the actual matches itself, you have a world title, the world title happens, and that's it. What they did here was instead of giving people satisfying matches, when none of these matches are satisfying, I don't care if you think they were or not, because they weren't. Um, no, not you, Martin. Of course, I mean like. No, I I agree with you. But, but, but what's what's doubly annoying is that the opening match started off on yes. fire. This no, but this is what I mean, right? So. Okay, let's do a direct comparison. And I know it's unfair, but 2000 Royal Rumble is the best Royal Rumble of all time, in my opinion, as far as I can pay for you. Um, the overall show. Overall show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Starts Definitely. off hot, has the pop, has, you know, one or two other matches, has a, has a throwaway thing with the with the Mae Young stuff, and then you're ready to go for the Rumble, right? None of this happened. It started off hot because people were like, it's the Rumble, let's get into it. World title match. Disqualification. <laughs> so Seth, Seth coming out to the shield. The shield. Ah, oh, it was unreal. Yeah. Like, and then throughout the show, there was nothing else that was really like this. Is a the rumble is second to mania. Yeah, and it should feel that way, and it usually does. Like, you don't have to try very hard, but that match with Seth Rollins and Roman, Roman Reigns should have been an ODQ match, right? Yeah. Should have had our cage match or. <laughs> Something or, other than it just should have just had a winner. Like, yeah, but I mean, like, you have to up the ante. Like, this is supposed to be a big thing, and you had multiple callbacks. Blah blah blah. It, it's just why didn't you just? What? No, actually, I'll answer my question. I know why they didn't do it because they rewrote this six or seven times. <laughs> <laughs> they rewrote yeah. this as probably, the show was going on. on. The morning. No, as the show was going on. God. That's what this is. What the back this is what the backstage stuff is. Apparently, this entire show was rewritten about six or seven times, including as it was going on. Which I know we make the comparison and the joke, but it's not a joke. This is WCW stuff. This is what they yeah. did, and it's this you, is how the how the wheels came off. Yeah, because it's just like there's no consistent storytelling. Now, so let's go let's go match by match, right? So okay, yeah. Seth Rollins defeated Roman Reigns via disqualification. So obviously the belt doesn't change hands by disqualification. So uh, Reigns is still the WWE champion. Now, the finish of this match was supposed to be uh, Roman Reigns was supposed to win anyway, but they wanted to get over the whole chair shot thing and really beat up uh, Seth Rollins. So that's why they did what they did, which makes sense. But also it's like you just peed off everybody in the audience. I mean, look, that's... That finish is fine for Raw or yeah. for a B-level pay-per-view. But yes. like you say, the Royal Rumble is one step down from Mania. That yes. is where you, like, that's a feud ender. That's a, you know, that's not where you give, like, a nondescript, non-finish to a world title match. Well, here's the thing. Again, compare it to 2000 Royal Rumble. Cactus Jack and Triple H. Exactly. And... And that's a perfect example because I did not want Cactus Jack to lose. Yeah. I was heart and soul in for him to win. But even though he, he, he lost it, it was a definitive ending. Uh, he, he got his heat back, you know, with the with the post-match beatdown. But, um, but it was a definitive ending. It was an ending to the feud. It was a story told. Mm. Whereas this was just nothing. It, like, the Cactus Jack thing, yeah, it was continued on for two other pay-per-views, but that arc was closed and people felt satisfied. Nobody felt satisfied. Like, look, you never feel satisfied with a qualification. Look, I'm of, I'm of the opinion that every title match, like, sorry, the WWE title match or Universal Championship match shouldn't have disqualifications. I don't know why they do. It's like, no count outs, no disqualifications. There has to be a winner. Because it's a title. <laughs> it's the title, you know? Um, yeah. I mean, it's like, I it's a, it's a storytelling device you can use, but you can the problem, use, but they never the use problem it. becomes when you use it every goddamn match, every... They, like, they, they use count-outs and disqualifications as a way to balance out the back and forward yeah, equal booking. Roll-ups, yeah. you know, like it's... Like, all this stuff is good. Like, so, 
Bret Hart beating Diesel with a roll up. Mm. That was mm. awesome because the story was that he couldn't even stand and Diesel was cocky and Bret was just the better wrestler. Like yeah. but when you roll everyone up every goddamn week and it's fifty fifty booking every week, mm. I mean it just means nothing. Yeah. And and that's it. And that's the thing, like nothing on this show except the women's rumble and even that had problems particularly the end um had any weight you know and 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 this is it like so the the story was apparently that set rollins was going to fight uh, shane i mean you that was the plan no apparently that was the plan That Shane uh, got fired by his dad. Yeah, that was legit the plan. And Shane was supposed to be in the Elimination Chamber and they were supposed to set it up for Mania. Which, I'm sorry, Seth Rollins and Shane McMahon is not a match I wanted to see. It's not a match anybody wants to see. And I love Shane McMahon in 2000. <laughs> 2001. Yeah. Uh, Do you know, even when he know, shows up every so often and, you know, he does the, he does the big stunt. Yeah, you know, he jumps yeah. off the beat. Yeah, that's great. I can get behind that. But uh, I mean, he came into the. Apparently, he was involved in the production and booking of the rumble. He booked. He booked the rumble. The whole rumble. <laughs> that's what got him fired. He booked himself to come in and yeah. out punch a legitimate uh, MMA we'll fighter. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. We'll <laughs> okay, get to yeah. it. We'll get. We'll <laughs> get to it. We'll get to it. But he, 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 why does he booked himself to to put himself over? Like? Yeah. No, we'll get to it. Don't worry. We'll get to it. We'll, oh boy, we'll get to it. Um, so look, the highlight of the show was next, and legitimately, it was. I had a great time watching the women's rumble. It was, it, it's, it's good and bad. It's good that the women are finally getting the recognition that they deserve, and that they are actually legitimately great, right? But on the other hand, it's like it's the only thing on the show that's good. There's nothing else that's even worthwhile. Because the women are there telling stories and actually doing stuff that matters. And it's like, is it because Vince doesn't really care? Or it's because, I don't know why. Like, I don't understand how they're getting away with it. Because the only thing that has any kind of value is that, I don't think Vince cares. I, I, I found the Women's Rumble, um, like you say, just depending on how you look at it, it was either very good or very bad. So, I mean, Did if you, you look at bad? it... I, I mean, it's like you say, it depends how you look at it. If you okay, look at it from on. the point of view of, like proper storytelling thing i thought it was dreadful i'll give you that if, one if you yeah. look at it from the point of view of like uh empty calories you know mm. just stupid fun every other entrance was a, a legend you know you had the highlight of the show for me was ivory um yeah <laughs> cutting a promo yeah, <laughs> cutting a promo yeah. on the way in got the promo with the ring got the promo as she gets tossed out <laughs> oh, fantastic right. stuff but it was yeah it was like it was a real uh, junk food but you know what's TV. crazy as well, right? Uh, Mickey James came out to um, Hardcore Country, Hardcore not to country. not to her WWE music, and I was like, "Oh, that's pretty. That's but pretty cool." Did you see the other the other list of uh, requirements they had, though. No, so they weren't allowed to um, have any kind of tag for Impact. They they were only to call it Impact, not Impact Wrestling. Okay, and Mickey James was the women's champion she wasn't allowed to use the word world or the word knockouts <laughs> oh well look that's still fair enough she was in there for like 12 minutes and i thought she'd be in there like for about two seconds that was my big fear yeah and she was in there for 11 minutes i, she, she I give them the, that yeah you know and she had a she had one elimination as well and she was also eliminated by lita which also shows that they respected her enough to have lita do the elimination yeah, it wasn't a, a nobody. It wasn't a nobody. Or, I'll you tell know. you what, though. I was surprised they didn't at least get Mickey down to... And like you say, fair play to them. to give her a proper run. It wasn't a embarrassed impact by having her in and chucking her out. Mm. Uh, but I was surprised that just for the crack, just for the, oh my God, are they actually going to do this? They didn't at least get Mickey down to like the last four. I thought they no. would do that. Yeah, no, I, I was like, that's a missed opportunity. But yeah. again, like th- like that would have been very cool. But it was still really cool the way they did it because, like, I never in a million years thought that would ever happen. I'll be honest with you. I'm like, there's no way. There's just, there's no way they do that. And they went and did it. And, like, fair play, which does show you that WWE, at some level, either they're aware of it, but then it also kind of adds to the point that maybe Vince just doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> maybe just well, wasn't like aware of this thing to happen. Like, for, everything, 
for everything like this in the women's rumble that you can point to, I can point to its opposite. Like for example, yeah. Sasha Banks came in at number one that and was, was so booted out. She was like the third person booted out after like six minutes or something like that. But I, uh, I did pop for Melina though. Z- Zilli, oh Melina was good. Yeah, <laughs> it was great. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. Like. But Sasha came out number one, and she, she was did. in her Sailor Moon outfit, and I was like, <sighs> brilliant, oh, yeah. she is going to go the distance. I Even if she doesn't win, I think she's going to be in there as the Iron Woman. And then they yeah. just booted her out third. Yeah. It was just a nothing. Yeah, yeah. I, I couldn't get my head around it. I think they had, again, I think, you know, this one was messed with the least, but you can tell that they did change this a fair bit. I wasn't happy. Once Ronda, sorry, once Ronda Rousey came out, I was like, "This, this is over." Yeah, that's yeah. yeah this is over. Um, I did like but at least at least the women's ending wasn't telegraphed until number twenty eight. The yeah. men's ending was telegraphed an hour before it started. Yeah, we'll get to that again. There's so much. There's so much to say about. That. <laughs> there's so much. Uh, there's crap. So much crap. Um. But yeah, no, I was so happy that Lisa Fox was only in the match for like six minutes. I hate Lisa Fox so much. She's the worst wrestler in history. She's worse than David Flair. So what is it? I thought she was she in Bad my, Company. She, she is was... minus three Katie Vicks. Sorry, go on. <laughs> I love this Katie Vicks scale. Oh, the Katie Vicks scale is brilliant. It's just, it, it just works. Like, and the reason why I hate Alicia Fox is, is because we were in Liverpool. I think it was Liverpool because he had like WWE toys as well outside and she came out and she fell walking to the ring and I'm like I was there with Gary I'm like Gary I need to leave or I'm gonna just was was this my... when she was drunk so I don't know what was she, was she know. fired because she showed up to a show drunk I and know. I think maybe even Fit Finley was fired for a while because he let her get in the ring drunk I don't know man all I know is she fell on the way to the ring and I'm like I can't sit here for these 5-10 minutes while she does whatever in the ring so I went off and just w- had a look at the WWE <laughs> set up they had outside and I was like walk back in I'm like what did I miss and he's like no and I'm like yeah of course I didn't <laughs> it was, <laughs> uh, that was just up. so look she looked better than she has ever um, but I was just like I'm so glad when she was tossed out you know Um but other than that, like there was no one like actively bad in the in the women's rumble. I don't think. No, but here's the thing: is that with a lot of WWE, it's not that anybody is actively bad. They have some of the best talent in the world. Mm. So they just completely misuse them, and sometimes they are spiteful in their booking. Yeah. The uh, Liv Morgan Sarah Logan thing, in particular, just why? Just why yeah. be so no. mean? Yeah, why that was that so... was weird. That was very weird. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. couldn't. They they do things all the time that I just don't understand. Like from a business perspective, from an entertainment perspective, I dude, I, I don't, just don't know that, what they're doing. I don't think there is any business perspective with a lot with a lot of the way they book the shows. WWE are actively hostile against their fan base and their talent. They really hate them. Yeah, <laughs> they really hate it. them. Yeah, I just don't understand it. It's like, but that's why I was so shocked when Mickey James came out. And I'm like. Well, Impact must have good lawyers. <laughs> they must have a good legal team because she came out looking like a million bucks. Uh, so she did. You know, she looked and the, that uh, picture of her with the uh, the knockouts title, and she's like leaning back at one leg in the air. She looks awesome. Yeah, no, it was great. It was like for me as, as a as a extremely long uh, distance. Impact TNA fan, long term wrestling fan. It was one of the coolest moments I think I've seen in a very long time. And it was worth watching the Rumble solely for that. But Ronda Rousey, I like Ronda Rousey. I wish Ronda Rousey didn't come back. Uh, <laughs> that's, that's it. That's the fun over. She's, I mean, she's going to win the belt and that's it. It's hard to be, yeah, she, she didn't have a great show on her. So her whole thing was that. Why like, does she look so angry? What, I mean, why does she look so angry? Stop I mean, looking, she, she needs so she's, a, she's an MMA fighter, so I get that. But her whole thing is that she is impactful. Yeah. You know, she her debut year was amazing. It was. She was really looked. That I, and I actually, I hated the way the fans turned on her for no reason. But she came back at the Rumble and her punches just lacked any weight. Now, that's, 
No, she that, was not yeah. very good in the ring. She wasn't, no. And this is why, like, look, I, I would consider myself a Ronda Rousey fan. But the, Ronda, but the Ronda Rousey we got. And also the fans turned on her. That was such a, a, a you-know-what bag move. It yeah. wasn't It wasn't cool. You know, it really wasn't. No. Um, and, I mean, she had a baby four months ago, so I'm not... She looks great for someone who had a baby four months ago. To be, to be, fantastic. To be, um, to be like, to, to be, to be, like... Honest with you, like that's incredible. Like she yeah. really is. And she, she really is in the ring, with, and she was those, flying. But those but, uh, punches were those. They they were Shay McMahon punches. That's what yeah. they were. You know. I mean, I would rather her come back uh, fully healed mm. than, than you know come back early. You know. Yeah. No, I I agree with you there. I don't. Uh, you don't want to see you don't want to see them hurt. You know, it's it's a bummer. You know. You don't want to see them hurt, and it's like, God, it's like. The last few years of the Undertaker, it's like you mm. really want to see him, but God damn it, it's depressing when he's not. He was at the Rumble himself. He was at the Rumble. Yeah, well, his his missus was in it, wasn't she? Yeah, but also, did you see that he was teaching his daughter how to do old school? Oh, was he? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, that's deadly. You know, so cool. Um, she's only like, I don't, I think she's like a young one. She's only like a fifteen or something like that. But he had her up there doing the doing the doing old school, and I was like, ah, oh, man, that's deadly. Um, hopefully you take more from Taker than from Michelle McCool. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, look, the next match was upsetting. Um, that's the only word. Uh, Becky Lynch defeated... Oh, Ronda Rousey won by defeating Charlotte Flair. Uh, yeah. Charlotte Flair. I, I genuinely just never want to see Charlotte Flair again. I'm sorry. If you're a fan of Charlotte, awesome. You know, yeah, she's, better than, uh, she's better than David, but I just never... She's a fantastic wrestler, but she's I don't a, know what it is. She's not. Well, maybe okay, but maybe not she's, lately. But no, not she, ever. Oh no, I think she said some amazing oh, really? match. She said just, her 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 match a couple of years ago. Ronda was fantastic. Her okay. match with Becky at Revolution was incredible. Oh, um, I just don't know what it is, man. I just can't. Um, no, I'm I'm with you. I just don't just don't like her. <laughs> I just I, don't know what it is. I don't like. I her. think she's a good wrestler, and right. I never want to see her again. Maybe if she <laughs> so I'm, I'm with maybe, you. She, maybe if she wears a mask. Yeah, dashing, dashing <laughs> Flair. I just don't know what it is. It's like, it's like the same go away heat that I have for like David Flair, but at least she can work. Yeah, yeah, you gotta, you gotta give her that. Oh man, David Flair. Uh don't worry, we'll get, we'll get back to WCW soon enough. I missed WCW. Like we should have done a WCW show instead. <laughs> Do you know what? Like I'm, I'm kind of sad because. For so long, we did WCW shows, and every week we were like, oh my God, this is really good. What are people talking about? WCW yeah. was crap. And then I think the last show we did was Slamboree, where, where the wheels really started to come off. And you're like, but, oh, now I remember. But even still, I would watch that forever over this. Because at least you knew they were like, well, it's going down. At least we're going to try to do something. These are just like, we're just going to keep firing people. <laughs> This this is worse. Yeah. I, I think WWE's ultimate goal is to be animated, so that I they don't so. need or, any or, wrestlers or, or a computer generated. Yeah, they so, just yeah. voice them. Yeah, so they don't need any wrestlers. They oh. could have one guy does forty different voices, and yeah, you know, they'd be delighted have, with that. They're going to have uh, again no shade to Roman Reigns because I actually do like Roman Reigns. He actually is a sound guy too. Uh, they're going to have Roman Reigns doing the voices for the men. And then they're going to have Ronda Rousey doing the voices for the women. And that's it. Yeah. And there you go. Uh, uh, yeah. I have no doubt that that is, <laughs> that is Vince McMahon's wet dream. I don't th- Again, I don't think this is Vince. I think this is Tony Khan. Or Nick Khan. Well, ah, I mean... Tony Khan too. It's all at work. He owns both. <laughs> <laughs> I, um, I think it's Nick Khan, man. Like, to be honest with you, like, look, Vince has done some mad stuff. Mad stuff. This this makes no sense. Like this isn't done out of spite. This is just we are we are scaling this down because we are getting ready to sell this. I'm I'm so I'm so torn on Vince. Um, like as a as a legacy because on the one hand, he is the reason that the thing we love went yeah. national, went global. You yeah, know, he that he took, is took the over. Reason. Yeah, he is. Yeah. The reason, yeah. On the other hand, he is the reason that the thing we love is now terrible. <laughs> um, and it's not he always screwed terrible. Brett. I know Brett screwed Brett. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to. I had to. I'm so sorry. I had to. I had to. Um, but uh, <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, I don't think the fans got to hear my my lengthy rant about the screw oh, job. Oh, oh, oh. Well, here, but, okay, here, here's the thing, though, right? Here's the thing. Um, wit. It's more a case of like when Vince would do stuff in the past, there was a reason for it. There was like it made sense for business, right? There would there would be something there that would make sense. None of this makes any sense. No. You know, it's like, and I, I'm sitting there going, the only thing I can think about is it's a fire sale to ship it off to whoever it is to make a lean product. But they're at a point now where the lean product is actively bad. Yeah, he, so the thing is that they could have, they could be making amazing record profits and have a brilliant program. Mm. They could be doing both because, so the profits they made this week well, not this week, but the, they were announced this week. The profits for the year yeah. are the highest they have ever, ever uh, accumulated. They are more than double the second highest. So, like, the highest point of the Attitude Era, the uh, revenue this year was double that. Now, but see, you could be making, it. instead of a billion, you could be making 700 million and have an amazing TV show. But see, it's it, WWE exists. It's a zombie. It's a zombie. It exists because it's WWE. It's like the Simpsons. Simpsons exists because it's the Simpsons. Yeah. Nuclear war is the only thing that's going to stop the Simpsons from being made. Right? Whenever whenever you said it's a zombie, it exists, I thought you were going to say, in your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, but that's it. Like It's just one of those things where you're like, it's always going to be there. It's never going anywhere. But it doesn't need to be good. Like, w, uh, you know, I... I'm getting to the point where WD could put anything on the screen, and but that's what they do. Like, <laughs> that's, that's it. You know, there, I was watching a review of like Raw or something, and they're like, there was very little wrestling in this Raw. You know, there was like one match or something. <laughs> and I was like, what was the rest of it? I think it was like uh, going in Raw where they're like, yeah, there was like two matches, and the rest of it was filler. It's like, that's not wrestling. That's just garbage. That's just putting stuff out yeah. for a reason, you know? And they seem to have so many of their fans. Um... Like like diehard WWE people mm. support that they're like oh the wrestling can't. is such a small no. part and I, I, I'm no, like no. well you don't like wrestling you like bad soap opera that's look that's I your like thing. look I like bad soap opera too right but as, it's as not, part of it as part of it but yeah. even that stuff isn't good all of it is bad there's no good thing there's nothing good on the, on the current WWE product. And look, and that's why the next three matches of the Rumble sum that up. Yeah. Because this is their best thing. This is all they have. Even even the WrestleMania sign tried to kill itself by setting itself, <laughs> it on, itself fire. on fire. You know, I think that sums up the whole show. It's just like, you know, Linguo dead. Linguo <laughs> fire is sale. dead. <laughs> and the fire goes on. So look, Becky Lynch defeated Dewdrop in an atrocious match, which was 13 minutes. And yeah, nobody I, I, looked I, nobody I didn't, I didn't got, think the... I didn't think the in ring was that bad, but it wasn't interesting. Uh, the crowd weren't into it. I no, wasn't into it. Because it's Dewdrop. What? Nobody thought Dewdrop was going to win. Dewdrop yeah. is a stupid goddamn name. Um, I feel bad for her. I really genuinely do. It's it's. She's not bad in the ring. WWE. It's it's one of those stupid no. things where you think it's funny, and, and she could be an fun. awesome, like an awesome. Uh, monster you know yeah. like like a like a awesome kong type thing like if you just call her piper never niven and had her as this like badass scottish murder machine yeah but they won't they're too busy making jokes because apparently it's because apparently it's funny yeah it's apparently it's funny and it's like awesome you know good job WWE, be a star right um and then you have bobby lashley defeat brock lesnar in 10 minutes after a, a double heel turn, a double turn, double heel turn mess where MVP runs out and Paul Heyman aligns with, with Bobby Lashley again. And you're like, what is yeah. going on? Or, or, or sorry, aligns with Roman Reigns. Excuse you, me. Do you know what? Like, so it's one thing like a screwy finish. Like we talked about the first match and how we were like, oh, my God, nothing's changed. Right. You actually, you could have had one screwy finish on the show. Yes. But the fact that it's the Royal Rumble and both world title matches were screwy finishes. Ugh, just. And, and up to that, again, 
Lashley and Lesnar, pretty good match. Two big guys hammering the hell out of each other. Like some of those uh, German suplexes were New Japan level of neck destruction, you know. This is it. They're going out there killing each other for no reason. For nothing. For Roman Reigns to come out and do his storyline with with the uh, with the uh, Heyman. You know, and then as you said correctly, this telegraphed the Rumble. Oh, that was it. You instantly. You knew. You knew. You knew that was going to happen, right? Brock got screwed out of the world title. Like straight away, you knew who's winning the Rumble. So there wasn't. So Bobby Lashley has the the WWE Championship. Paul Heyman now was with Roman Reigns, and then the next match. The I, I think the worst part about this was the show never went up. Because look, I like Edge. I think Edge is great. I actually, I actually well, like Miz, right? But well, here, just just before we get on to that, mm. one thing I wanted to ask was: so because of this finish, mm. it's it's kind of given an indication of what the future of WWE is. So mm. WrestleMania is in all likelihood going to be title for title, title for title, a world champion Brock versus a world champion Reigns. Now, yeah. Brock is a twenty-year veteran and a part-timer. Yeah, Reigns has held the title for almost two years at this stage. Mm. So no matter what the outcome is at WrestleMania, nobody it's nobody new. Nothing has changed. Either Brock the part-timer is now the champion or Reigns, the guy who's held the title for two years, is still the champion. There's no forward movement. There's no momentum. There's nobody being built up to take it over. Like mm. it's... Uh, the the only reason I, I genuinely don't know who's going to win that Mania match is because both outcomes are bad. Whoever wins, we lose, as in the AVP2 <laughs> tagline. And look, the next match again, it was such a horrible waste of time. Shouldn't have been on the Royal Rumble. I really like this feud. I thought Edge coming out with the, with the brood music a couple of weeks ago was deadly. Um, such a horrible waste. Such a horrible yeah. waste. And then on this would have been really good on Raw, uh, Raw, or even Elimination like a maybe. mid-card um, WrestleMania. Yeah, not the Rumble. Yeah. The Rumble needs to be tighter. It needs to yeah. be a tight show. Look, there's two Rumbles. You yeah. book two big marquee matches. And there you go. That's it. And that's it. It's Man, not hard. It was genuinely isn't hard. It was three in the morning. Mm-hmm. I had seen both world titles. And I had seen the women's rumble. I did not need another match thrown yeah. in the middle of this. No, it, this was four and a half hours long. This this, this match show was could four have been, and a half hours long. This match could have been a five star clinic. I did not care. I was yeah. not interested in it. I just wanted it to be over to get to the rumble. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's in the time we have left. We've kind of said a lot about the rumble. Brock Lesnar obviously defeated Drew McIntyre to win. This was telegraphed again as we said about an hour before the minute Brock came out holy hell that was it he was number 30 and and that was it now as you said Shane McMahon <laughs> booked this <laughs> and he booked himself to, to put himself over he, he, he booked himself to out punch a legitimate MMA fighter he yep. booked himself to throw Kevin Owens out of the goddamn rumble and he booked himself down what was he the last four or yeah. the last five? But he booked he, himself down yeah. to like the... Uh, oh, the only person who could get rid of him was was Brock. He had to be... Oh, like, he did everything short of winning the damn thing. He put himself over. And you know what? And apparently the reason why he was let go was because there was so much heat on him for doing this that he wasn't able well, yeah. to go back to work. Imagine you're like... You know, real hard working wrestler in your thirties, you're hammering it out on Raw, SmackDown every week, whatever. And then the boss's son, a dude in his fifties who sweats tying his shoelaces, <laughs> comes in and takes your spot and goes over everybody and only gets beaten by like the top, top, top guy. Oh man. Oh my god. Wouldn't you be sick as well? But look, to be honest with you, looking at the, the lads that were in it, right? Half of these guys shouldn't have been in it. Half of these guys are jobbers. Now, look, 
maybe they couldn't have done it because the contracts aren't that. But how cool would it have been to have some AEW guys come out? How cool would it have been to have some Impact guys come out? How Hold cool on, would it like, have been? You know, never anyone. even never even mind the Forbidden Door. door. There were their own guys who were. Where the hell was Finn Balor? That's a fair point too. Well, That's we know where he was. He was in Temple Bar or something. Points. Well, we know. But, I mean, <laughs> why the hell point. wasn't he? Yeah, well, I mean, if he he has the money, no one else can afford to drink thirty pints in Temple Bar. Fair. Um, but uh, wh- why wasn't Finn Balor in the Rumble? Like, yeah, they have their own. Like, never mind bringing in uh, outside talent. They have their own top guys who weren't in the Rumble. But there's these. Look, there's loads of names. Like, okay, for the fr- now, I know I don't watch the product near as much as I used to, and I'm I'm happier for it. But lads just showed up, and I'm like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> You're just a jobber. Like, oh, and, hell, and like a- NXT is is dead. Oh, it's dead. Done. Like, done. Like, look, right. Like, I don't. They know, wouldn't look, even bring in some NXT guys to be jobbers. Look, I don't know who Rich Holland is. I'm going to name names, and I don't know who these people are. I don't know who Rich Holland is. I don't know who Montez Ford is. I don't know who. Oh, Happy Corbin is the worst gimmick I've ever seen in my life. I don't know who Rick Bogues is, Mad Cat Moss. These all sound like, you know, when you create a wrestler in WWE and they'd pick a who name did, for you. That's who, who it sounds like. And that's what he looked like. Who did Mad Cat Moss eliminate? He eliminated like Drew a... McIntyre. Oh my Drew God. Drew McIntyre. Returning from a neck injury. Yeah. Was eliminated by Mad Cat Moss. Otis looks atrocious. I don't know what they've done to him. It's like uh, Dominic Mysterio, by the way, right? So you had Ray was in this. He was. So instead of having Ray and Dominic set up their feud, they didn't even interact with each other. It's like what? What was the point of having both in the Rumble? It makes well, no this sense. is this is the whole thing. Like this was the other major problem with it. The beauty of the Rumble is that you can set up a dozen different storylines. You know, exactly. Two people, are feuding, two, months, yeah. two people are feuding, come face to face, yeah. to uh, a tag team, one partner throws the other one out. You know, there's a million things you can do to set up feuds in the Rumble. Mm. And there was like, like I say, I'm like yourself, I don't watch it every week, so I don't know what the stories are. But apparently there was like so many stories that were literally there. Just mm. all they had to do was do them. And, and they didn't. No. Like, Even Renee the- and... Uh, Dominic weren't even in the ring at the same time. No. Even even Orton. What really kind of set it off for me then as well, right? When Orton came out, I'm like, wait, he's just he's just there. He was in the ring for two minutes. Randy Orton was in the ring for two minutes. Can I slightly pivot and ask you, what's your opinion of Randy Orton as well, a wrestler? He like, is so. probably one of the best wrestlers of all time. But when he chooses to be. Oh my God. And he works up. And he works up. For example, that match he had with Edge, right? The greatest wrestling match of all time. Kind of was. But, I mean, I don't think it counts because it was a cinematic match. I know, I know. But like, he can do it. The problem is he get like, I think what real Randy Orton for everyone was the, like the, the no joke 25 matches he had with John Cena. It was the same match over and over again. But, I mean, like, Randy Orton is one of the names they have. He's one of the, 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 the landmark WWE names. And even to him, he was in there for two minutes. He got the an, ins- an insane pop. Mm. Um, in fact, got the, the whole thing around the Rumble is that every 90 seconds he get a pop. Mm. And, man, there were no... The first pop came for Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> yeah. That, that was the yeah. genuinely the first real crowd reaction of the men's rumble was for Johnny Knoxville. Mm. Uh, Orton, fair play to him. He got a massive pop when he came out. Mm. I, for the life of me, do not know why. I think he is the worst wrestler in the world. I That's, find I, him I totally understand so that. boring. I totally get that. He you know what's weird? He's an absolute channel changer. Have you ever seen him live? I've, ne- I've never seen a WWE show live. Oh man, Randy Orton live is an experience. He's such a weird tall lad, right? It's a weird body shape. And when you see the RKO in person, it is incredible. His match with Punk a couple of years ago in the O2 was one of the best matches I've ever seen. Yeah. And I was like, oh my God, that's unreal. Like, so when you, uh, I totally get where you're coming from and it's completely valid. Yeah, I, d- I don't know what but, it is. I don't know. What, yeah, no, it makes sense. It, it, it's a very valid response. But... And, and then people 
give out to me online. They go, oh, you just don't, you you, you just like flips and kicks. He's no, all about no, ring no. psychology. And I'm yeah. like, no, he's not about ring psychology because my favorite wrestler ever is Bret Hart. Mm. Bret Hart was about ring psychology, right? Randy Orton's just boring. Randy Orton, when he works up, that's the thing. It's like John Cena. John Cena is the same. They're they're pretty much the same kind of wrestler, right? And when they work up, they can have these great feuds, but they just don't. They just go into autopilot. They're like, we're going to get millions of dollars. Who cares? Yeah, you know? I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get hurt. Like, I'm not gonna I'm get not, hurt. Yeah. I'm not advocating that anybody, like, be reckless or risky. But uh, I mean, it is wrestling. Like, well, look. Can, can I say one thing as well, real quick? Not only was the sign going off fire, signing the rumble. <laughs> being terrible Kofi Kingston messing up the one job oh. that he had the one job is to do a stupid little spot he messed that up and you know what at that point he should have said lads we're done now <laughs> I was it. actually gutted for that because yeah. Kofi's stuff is is it's one of the good. few things that has sort of kept the rumble going the past few years yeah and when that happened it's like oh this sums it all up what sums I didn't understand up. was here's what I didn't understand the very first match of the night ended when the referee lifted an unconscious man's hand and put it on the rope, right? Yes, yes. yes. Why in the name of God couldn't they just say the referee didn't see Kofi's feet hit the ground? There's reasons. Like, what? Like, right, okay, he did this massive jump and he grabbed onto the rail and yes, his feet touched the ground, right? But just have the referee not, referees not see stuff every goddamn day. Yep. Reasons. I just, it just, it, it baffled me that that was, that was the point where they said, "Nah, man, this is a shoot." <laughs> like this, <laughs> this is a shoot. That, yeah, just, uh, uh, uh. But look, I, I, the, look. In a word, the twenty twenty two Raw Rumble is everything encapsulates everything encapsulates everything wrong with the current WWE product. It is a monument. To how bad this product is. Yeah. And do not watch it, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> do not if, watch it. If it wasn't for this podcast, the fact that we'll probably review WrestleMania, yeah. I would not watch this put me off WrestleMania. Oh, if yeah, I no, was doing this, I wouldn't no, I, I wouldn't watch WrestleMania. I agree. And the next show we are gonna get back to uh we're gonna do a WCW show again. I don't know where we are in our timeline, but I can't wait to go back. It's two thousand, I think. So we're going to jump Just back. Just as the wheels are coming off. Just as the wheels coming off. It's a good Love time, it. guys. So yeah, look, again, we are dealing with some technical issues. I apologize. Uh, I am trying to get on top of that. And um, we'll be back streaming again. So we will be. you will be able to contact us and submit whatever it is. But for the time being, uh, you can tweet me at DaraWV. You can uh, tweet Dave, uh, D. Dave Stevens. And Martin, do you have, still have your Twitter or are you... Yeah, I mean, it's there, but it's like uh, with the way things are in the North, it's mainly just me berating DUP politicians. So Fair. log on if you want, but <laughs> you're, not very gonna little find it. you're not going to find it in positive there. To be fair, with my wrestling, it's usually computer stuff or wrestling. So that's basically the majority of my Twitter. But guys, uh, we are going to wrap it up for this week. I want to thank you very, very much for uh, listening in. And again, uh, this is your show. So we're going to open up a quest again when my computer stuff is finally put to bed and we'll be back at normal time. So again, for Dave, who will be back eventually, uh, <laughs> for Martin and from myself, we will talk to you next week here on The Wrestling Rewind. Bye, guys. Punk, fight me. Thank you for listening to a Nerd to Know Media production. 